What's up guys? Jeff here. Okay, today I'm going to do a, uh, a video that wasn't really planned, but it's going to need to be done pretty soon anyway, so I figured I'd go ahead and do it today because it's just kind of annoying me. So what I'm going to do today is rehouse my green bottle blue, which if you've been following my videos on it, it just molted like two weeks ago, put on some pretty good size. It's about three inches now. And the enclosure that I've had it in is just not laid out for a bigger spider. It's laid out for a smaller spider when I rehoused it the last time. And so it's just kind of outgrown the layout. So I found another tub uh, that we're going to use and I've put it all together and made a new home for it. So we're going to rehouse it. So I'm going to get set up and you guys stay right there and don't move a muscle and we'll be back with a rehouse. Okay, so here we are back. I'm kind of set up here. I've got him right next to his new home. And this is going to be his new enclosure. I stressed and stressed and stressed for an hour and a half on how to lay this thing out before I finally started throwing things together. But as you can see, I tried to give him plenty of anchor points for webbing. And what I basically did back here is kind of use some spare pieces of cork bark to kind of fill up that hole back in so there's no corners or anything for it to hide in. You know, since they're not burrowers, you know, they won't burrow. But if I, I figured if I blocked off all that back there, there's no place for him to hide. And then, of course, he can web around all of these sticks and hide back in there. And then, of course, I got creative and used a little bit of moss to cover up my filler down in there. With that, without any more being said, is the new enclosure for my green bottle blue. And then here's the old one. And he's just, you can't, you just can't really see it on camera here, but he's just really crammed in there most of the time. Just can't really fully stretch his legs, and I'm getting tired of seeing him like that. So we're going to try to move him today into what will ultimately be for him his final home. So I hope he enjoys it, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get around to the rehouse. Hold on, guys. Okay, so what I ultimately would like to do and what would be the perfect ideal situation is just to coax him up the side of his enclosure over into the side of the other one. But if you saw my last Green Bottle Believe Rehouse video, he got down underneath all this stuff and wouldn't budge and we just had to pull it out. So that's what I'm anticipating. So let's see what happens. He always wants to go right down underneath all of that. And then, of course, now you see my dilemma with, you know, it's there's, it's hard to get in there and get to him. And when I do, he just kind of runs around underneath all this stuff. And I just don't like him being in there. He's too big for that anymore. And see, now I can't get to him. You can see he's hiding down in there. So I think what I'm going to have to do is pull this whole thing out of here. But since he's bigger and a little more skittish than he was as a juvenile, and this whole big mess is a lot bigger, you know, I'm a little more nervous about it. So I've got my catch cup ready, just in case we need it, which I hope we don't. But I'm just going to kind of give these plants a little tug and, and see. All of this is stuck together in one big, big mass. I mean, look how strong that webbing is. It's all stuck together but it is coming out in one piece and voila. There he is folks in his new home. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scoot him out of the way and clean all those plants up and then put them in the enclosure. And then I'll give you guys a final update, but I guess, while I'm here talking, I can go ahead and get him out while you guys can see him. He probably won't want to leave his webbing. It's so familiar to him. I'm sure he'll just run round and round on it. The webbing is so strong. See, he definitely does not want to come out of there. Green Bottle Blues can be stubborn. He's really not wanting to let go of that.
He's such a pretty boy, though. By the way, if you haven't watched my other videos, you don't know. He is a confirmed male, unfortunately, which is why I say this is going to be his final home. But look at him, how beautiful he is. And, of course, I really hope that he does what they do best because I feel I gave him a pretty good, pretty good canvas to work with there on his enclosure. Maybe I'm just kind of patting myself on the back, but whatever. I'm still pretty new to tarantulas, so I think I do pretty good for a newbie. So anyway, I'm going to clean these plants up with this webbing and then put those in the enclosure, and then we're just going to kind of close this thing out. Okay guys, so as you can see, I got the plants out and just did a little more more fill on the back end of this enclosure. Of course, I didn't get every last strand of webbing off, but that's, of course, not a bad thing. You want him to be feel comfortable to send some of his old webbing and to, of course, encourage him to web. But here he is in all of his glorious beauty. That's Augie right there, guys. Hanging out in his new enclosure. We'll keep you guys updated on the really sweet things I hope he does with this. I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment. If you liked it enough, share it and subscribe. Keep your eyes out for some more tarantula videos. Thank you all for watching. God bless and good night.